This time on City Bangers, we come through yet another rough neighborhood in the United States that is known for a certain level of violence. With a population just under 75 people, one could just imagine the type of gangster or criminal that could come from these streets. Yeah, this quad OG well done. I'm quick to leave a nigga well done. If you don't run, then you're gonna get the gun. Hmm, right. That's mom. White bitch gonna, gonna die soon. You know what I'm saying? Then I get this this one bedroom to myself. Finally, and and I and I get to sleep by myself. You know what I'm saying? So explain who you are, if you will. Oh, that's no problem. I'm Quad OG, folk time, original gangster. I'm the first nigga in history to be from five damn gangs all at one time, nigga. Just let me. Five gangs at one time? Sounds hard to pull off. What was and where? I was the first blood in Wyoming, man, you know? BU4, nigga, you know? Uh, small town. But I was the hardest motherfucker there. Then I, I shut that blood gang down. Then I started a crip, then I started a cripping gang. Uh, I did that for about two years. Then a bike gang, but uh, none of us had good credit for to get. I mean to get the bikes. Big homie mama, she rented us a couple segways, but those wind up getting stolen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we was in other spots, you know, a couple other cities. So how did you do the five gang thing? I did the five gang thing quiet. I did that shit quiet as fuck. Uh, like, uh, like, if, like if a nigga had beef with the hood, I would hit Facebook, you know, hit his ass with the cuss message, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, punk ass, you know what I'm saying? Or I made him say fuck, or uh, I call him a bitch. Uh, then if a nigga want to keep on talking shit and act like he's spotty, then I'll hit him with the Ho ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you ain't getting past that. You getting past the whole ass nigga. You know? I don't know who it is. So, what would the gang do if those emails didn't. Well, that's when we find out where his ass at. Then we call the boys on his ass. Since most of them niggas, they push weight anyway, we call the cops on them. Get their ass busted, you know, like, like some nanny nanny boo boo shit. Introducing, introducing, introducing Chef Broke This Heel with Five Hood Classics. Look, this does bring back memories, man. Yeah. Now I remember why I wanted to get my own damn place. God damn. Look, no, my God. Rick ain't say a damn thing about That's me tasting any of that shit. I don't need to remember this. Man, I paid you. Yeah, you had your little you. funky ass twelve dollars back, nigga. The oh, fuck. So what would the guy do if those emails didn't? Well, that's when we find out where his ass at. Then we call the boys on his ass. Since most of them niggas, they push weight anyway. We call the cops on them. Get their ass busted, you know, like, like some nanny nanny boo boo shit. Left off. So is that how you survive in the streets? See, let me tell you, man. The key, the key to game banging, is staying in the house. <laughs> Bone chill. 
What, 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 what she about? Eight, nine? See, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to deal with that. I ain't got no time for that shit out there in the streets. I'm going to this is an older nigga. <laughs> uh, so I, I usually just stay in the house. You know what I mean? I have my Nintendo there. Uh, Excite bike. Uh, champion, nigga. 90, 90, 97 to 95. Well, 95, 90, whatever. My 30th birthday coming up. My, so mom putting together a little something for a nigga, you know. She used to be a stripper, so we got moms on the pole. Anybody want to come through? You know what I'm saying? Fully nude, man. <laughs> we don't play that shit. So is that how the gang handles beef? You all just snitch on people? Hell yeah. I turn into a bunch of big niggas, too. I'm saying big names. I turned into some big ass motherfuckers. Cash, straight cash for them niggas too. See, uh, Woody, Woody Wood, Foghorn, uh, Snag, Droopy, uh, Speaking Spell. All them niggas. Yeah, fuck them niggas. Motherfuckers ain't except my friend request. Smile. Send a letter of apology for everything. We sent them like 50 bucks with the letter, you know. We got it from turning the ass in, so I figured it was $50, you know. About to do that. And then every five years, if they still in, we'll send them like a, you know, a care package, uh, food, a video of us balling, you know. We still got the money that we got from diming y'all ass out. Like, uh, Wish he was here's type shit, but it's just, it's just weird because you know, by sending them all these care packages and shit, nobody really responds. But you know, uh, it just it just so happens that them niggas happen to be in jail when we turn them in, so they can't be out here with us. Um, that's sad. It's, it's, man, it's sad, be sad. But no, nobody really ever responds. I wouldn't blame anyone. I mean, uh, you put them in jail. One care package, one dude responded. Is it not at all? Oh. Yeah, it ain't cool. He said, I hate you motherfuckers. I don't know whose idea it was to send the dick twerking video, but you cheeky man booty ass niggas need to be. And he quoted, like Garfield says, drug out in the street, and shot, man, quit fucking sending me shit or write me, you fucking snitching ass worms. Yeah, he, he got his worms. See, that was one of the sensitive niggas. I don't, I don't know what's his problem. Yeah. And the dude, before he went in, he had some nice ass clothes in his house because me and his wife, we've been together ever since. I'm taking care of our kids. It was just, I don't know, sensitive nigga. Man, and if, if you hear this, when I moved in, dude had some nice ass clothes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I fuck most of them up, but I like fire caulking shit on them, you know, from working in the labor hall. You know, minimum wage. So if you sum it all up, what would you consider your life shaping up to be in the next few years? As some of the guys are released from prison. Hard as fuck. Peace, nigga. Got this shit knocking on.